Greetings everyone and welcome to another episode of Terraria Where things are still dangerous Come on, okay Apparently one of these zombies or um, Demon eyes killed a bunny So they're just as bad as me <laughs> Alright, but um, so the first thing you might notice is that I'm kind of zoomed in right now. Um, I got lenses. No! Did another bunny just die? Are you kidding me? Get back here, you bunny killer. Come on. Okay. So yeah, I'm zoomed in. I uh, played around with the settings, trying to see if I can get some better quality. Um, I feel like this is better than before, but not the best it could be. Um, but at least in some... Oh, it's on the table there. At least in some uh, dimensions, you might be able to see numbers up here. Which is cool, because that wasn't in, available in the other ones. Uh, this night's pretty rough. The zombies I could deal with. Even if it is slow. Hmm, maybe short, short swords would be good for these people. But yes, I, uh, it's been... I have... Many things to say, but it's nighttime, and Terraria is not one to let you think peacefully and quietly. At least in these early blind stages. There's another zombie. Come on, stop. Just stop it, zombies. Okay, at least I'm getting rich, I think. Probably not. But, ah, oh, what? They're all distracting me. Okay, first off, I need a bed. Um, the relog thing, I understand it now. I find it annoying, but I'm not going to really jag on about how annoying I find it anymore. And now there are three zombies after me. Um, during uh, testing, I made a new world. Because um, I didn't want to make progress or have problems in this world. And I did a little bit of mining before I noticed that, hey, my inventory was the same as this world. Nine cobwebs here, torches here, a goldfish, the boomerang. And now I notice that, yeah, the copper ore I got from mining in the new test world actually carried over to this world. So I'm going to, I counted 15 at 15 ore at the end of episode 4, the 15 I mined out right at the end. So I'm going to go with 15 ore in my inventory. Um, I also mined a few stone blocks and a few dirt. Um, where is it? There you go. So it, sh it should be fixed and better now. But. but yeah, sorry about that. Um, I was didn't, did not realize that the inventory carried over. Not sure what exactly that was all about. But. It happened and I did not ex expect that. So I'm sorry. We might as well some copper bars and we have so many zombies at that door um hmm very fast speed and fast speed I think I might use this short sword for all these zombies Die, zombies. 
That's a lot of zombies. Ow. That, that's kind of loud. Did I just get, like, exponential coins? I saw 128 copper coins. And then 64 copper coins right before that. So did I just get some sort of, like, exponential growth? I don't know. I'll have to recheck that, because that, that was pretty interesting. Um, dang it. I've decided to use the bow and arrow more. Because it is more deadly and quicker. There we go. Ooh, and I got some more coins. I don't know if that's random or what. And they just killed another bunny. Why kill all the bunnies? I just got some fire arrows. That was cool. Um. Oh, okay. I'm out. So. Let's go and make some arrows. Um. Was not expecting it to be nighttime right at the beginning. So that's a little bit of. Oh, yeah. Okay. A little unexpected twist. Um. We can make a billion arrows, so why not? And then let's make a lot of flaming arrows. Let's practice with this bow. Cause this, I think this will be better. Oh, that's just a bunny. Okay. So let's... Oh, yes, falling star. No! It just broke. Dang it. Okay. I just wasted that arrow, but... It does seem to like shine light. And that's pretty cool. So I might just be a bowsman. See how that turns out. Um, another thing that I learned... Um, was that swimming... It's not very possible in Terraria. You only swim as high up as you jump. And I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't really like that at all. Again, I'll say that again. And I'll say that again and again. But. It's kind of like. I mean, I could see it in Windmaker, perhaps. Where, um, my words, but I can see in Windmaker where, like, you don't want people swimming from island to island. Hmm, these, these are slow. I'm not sure I want to, oh, this is, oh, okay, yes, now it's daytime. My plans for this episode were to get a house going. Um, like the door, the table, and stuff like that for people to come. But these tools are really slow. Um, I really need more iron. I need to explore more. I want to explore the surface. Really, because digging for a cave doesn't seem to be very productive. And more bunnies are coming. Um, I only had three silver bars. Hey, this is silver. Hmm. But. A slow copper pickaxe. I don't want any of that stuff. So. I'll need an anvil. And I can't get one. They're all at my other base. So. I don't want to head over to my other base because I want to I hate that jungle <laughs> point blank I just hate it it's very annoying and I failed I died miserably many many times and it was just a pain to go through 
Um, I think jungles might be one of the toughest surface biomes. I don't know. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to explore. So I want to explore this way since I haven't done so yet. Ooh, what is this? Shuriken. Oh, I already have some of those. It's better than having cobwebs on our bar. Maybe we could try it out on some slimes. Let's do that. I might try out the boomerang last episode, and that was pretty cool too. Okay, let's get some slimes dead. Uh... I have horrible aim, I find. But, it feel pretty cool. I, I like the boomerang more. I mean, it's just a wooden boomerang, but it's pretty cool. I quite like the movement on it. So... Um, ooh yes, treasure chest. Three copper, that's cool. Hard aglet, equipable. 5% movement speed. Ooh, equipable. Hmm. Over here. Oh yes. So what is accessories? One plus defense, 5% movement speed. Interesting. So equipable stuff, I should check to see if it could go over there, but 5% movement speed. Let's recheck this chest. Grenades! Grenades! Now that's interesting. Torches, I'll take. Night Owl Potion. Increases night vision, 4 minute duration. That's cool. Um, let's put two sunflowers in here. Um, I kind of want, actually, yeah, let's make those tools. So let's get a workbench. That's right. I forgot I did need an anvil. I think I just said that too. I need an anvil. Hmm, I might have to go all the way over and get that anvil, but I don't really feel like it. And my aim is horrible, so that's that's one bad thing. But let's, is that just stone or not? I have no clue. I still can't really tell. Maybe with like zoomed in, because it is zoomed in for me too. I'll be able to see more and know. Throwing knives, wooden arrows. Swiftness potion, interesting. Silver coins, even more of those. Gold coin, I'll craft one of those, cause might as well. Um, although it doesn't seem to appear to be reversible, at least from what I could tell. Yeah, that's something you could throw a torch down. So, hmm. This feels like a good cave. No ores yet, but a good cave nonetheless. Another chest. 20 bottles, 3 healing potions. Another wild aglet. Can I equip that on here? No, I cannot. I must already have enough aglets on a... can only have one, I guess. Although... No, I don't, don't see anything. Really? Okay, so I was... Couldn't throw it around, apparently, because I had... Or I couldn't swing a weapon. Say it at my hand. Cobwebs! Yes, more cobwebs. So the 
cobwebs are few and far between, but having a bed would be worth it. And there is some stuff down here. What is this? Oh, this is iron? Okay. It looked like gold. Golden. But I can take more iron, and I will. Okay, there's something else down there. There's like purple stuff over here. Very curious. But let's go see if I can't use this iron yet. Okay, so a ton of stuff, and ready to explore again. Um, I kind of want to see what's up here first. Cover higher up in the cave before I go down. There's a ton of pots here. And then a huge hole. Let's go throw a torch in here after I check all these pots. Oh, there's a chest up. Just from right past. Oh, ooh, this looks cool. Godly spear, nine melee, nine percent critical, slow speed but strong knockback. Twelve percent damage, five percent critical strike, fifteen percent knockback. Oh yes. So it's aiming where my mouse is. Okay. This looks cool. I think this is a nice find. More copper, more torches, more grenades. I forget where I put these things. A small explosion that will not destroy tiles. That's cool. So lesser healing potions, more shriek cans. That's even pronounced right, I don't know, but I think um, having lesser healing potions on my bar would be a good idea. 50 life. And I could replace an axe because I don't need an axe underground unless I place logs myself. And placing logs myself isn't really the best idea. So let's. Nothing. I can fall down here. And get some dirt. So just move my mouse over the mob. And I picked up my torch. So I don't know if I'm aiming right. Oh, I guess if I could see the mob's name, I'm aiming right. But I got knocked down here. That wasn't fun. So let's... Okay. The steam and I just get out. Oh, dang it. I just drink it. Whoops. Oh, well. And that's probably why I didn't have it on my hotbar originally. Because I just drink it with no reason. Hopefully it healed at least some though. Oh yeah! Look at that fiery demon eye. Perfect. Alright, we have some more iron here. And some copper up there, so I'm going to dig these out. Okay, I'm at this one part. It loops back around on itself. Ooh, yes, I really like this spear. See how it fares against slimes. Oh, yeah! Look at that! that I don't know about you, but that seems more speedy, not less. Oh. What was up with that? did a lot more damage, a lot quicker, and it says it's slower speed, so, hmm, more copper here, though, again, what are these things, I 
So axes don't destroy it. Spears don't. <laughs> Wasn't expecting spears. Hammers. I have an iron hammer from my accidental creation of it. Look at all those zombies. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's hurting me. Okay, what was up with that? I did not expect it to hurt me. What if I break the ground it's on? I can't break the ground it's on. I can walk right by it. It only hurts me for some reason with the hammer. Yeah, it hurts me pretty good too. Okay, I'm in this underground stone thing again. Yeah, look at that! Remember at the beginning of this episode when it's super slow? Not anymore. Ooh, what's this? I can't pick it up. Let's get rid of... A wooden sword. Ooh, it's a crippable thing. Brisk shackle, equipable. Okay, got more defense, more movement speed. And I'm regening, and I picked up that sword again. Um, I think it's about time to go back to that chest I had. Oh, wait, a bunny came down to greet me. Hi, bunny. Okay, I can make a toilet, but I cannot make an iron pick yet. But I can make some copper armor. Copper helmet, chain mail, greaves. So, it does require a lot of stuff, but having even a little bit more defense is better than nothing. I could only make one of these. Um, copper chain mail looks to be the best, though. So, I'm going to make it. No status will be gained in social slot. Okay. So I'm going to equip it in the equip slot. Ooh. I look funny now. I'm all orange. So there we go. Oh, yeah. Pick up this handle again. Okay, so there's two ways into this cave. Um, that, through the stairs, right there. This obvious one, and then there's a little opening right beneath this. This part right here. So I'm gonna go see what's beneath this part. First, um, there's a ground there. You throw a torch to make sure, yep. It looks clear of mobs and stuff. There's a ton of pots though. Pretty surprising. Um, there's some openings up there that probably will lead to ore. Um, I don't know though. Yeah, it definitely looks like ore. So I'm gonna go get that ore. Oh my goodness, there is a sandworm. Oh no, not good, not good. Got it, I caught it. Yes, I got a sandworm. Did I get anything from it? it scared me to death. All of a sudden, sandworm. Got nothing new out of it so hmm that's unfortunate but <laughs> it's 
It's a sandworm. It's a sandworm chasing me in Terraria. So many mobs. Ooh man, that was that shook me. All right, I got all the iron here though. Phew. That was a scary sound too. Look, there's something right down there. Red slime. I can't seem to hit it. I can't hit it with this. There we go. Got it. Oh, this is water. This is not good. Bad memories of water. Um, <laughs> let's get out of here. Wait. Oh, this is a stone too. Hmm. How am I supposed to handle this? Let's throw one of these down. Doesn't even look like there's anything down there. Actually, it does look like ore. Okay, I can't make that jump. I can't make these jumps, but... There seem to be anything down there at all anyways, so... Let's get out of here. Before I drown. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so the other way was a staircase down. And... Oh, I still don't have a bed. I want to end these episodes because I feel like my voice wears out after a while. But, and also because if I'm getting something wrong, I want to learn it as soon as possible without having large gaps. But, God, this respawn thing is super annoying, I have to say. Hopefully this is just a dead end, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like... What? What? A boulder? That was not fair. That was definitely not fair. All of a sudden, boulder in the head. Was there any forewarning at all? And I can't see anything in this. Okay, I'm back. We have to be careful because there's boulders here apparently. Okay, I got my godly spear back. Let's put that back on. I mean, this back on. I did not appreciate that at all though. That was startling. Is there an audio cue? I didn't, don't recall hearing an audio cue. Was, but. Hopefully that's just, a, that just does not happen randomly in the game. Suddenly, um, boulder on your head. Instant death. No warning. No, nothing. <sighs> yeah, I managed to get my stuff so I don't have to rage quit. Oh, there's a little opening up there. That's probably where the boulder was. Is it back? I, I'm also hearing some sort of sound.
brown pressure plate. Ah, oh, it was a trap. Oh man, I have to watch out for pressure plates now. <sighs> My goodness. Let's go analyze this trap. Active stone block. So active stone blocks plus brown pressure plates. It led to it opening. More active stone blocks. Hmm. This has me curious. I'll have to... Oh, this is a watery dead end anyways, so that's good. I'm going to collect this copper ore and then call it an episode. I appreciate you watching this as always. This is Dungon, and I will see you next time.